My prison was a bit confining, but I used the opportunity to find some space in the gravel flooring to hide a gold watch, a silver pen filled with ink, and a silver scissors sheath. This was hardly finished before the door opened again, and the Queen's court governess, with her servant and the wife of the provisions provider, Abel Katerina, came in. I knew her. She and the Queen's governess came bearing clothes, such as a long silk nightdress, covered with a shell of beige and white, a linen skirt with black print and bordered with lace, silk stockings, slippers, a shift, an apron, a night bonnet and two combs. They did not say hello, Abel Katerina spoke up and said, by the order of Her Majesty the Queen, we must divest you of your clothing and you must wear these instead. I answered, in the name of God. They untied my sash, in which I had sewn rings and many loose diamonds. Abel Katerina patted my head all over to check if something was hidden in my hair and said to the others, there is nothing, we do not need the combs. Abel Katerina desired the bracelets and rings that were taken from me one more time. I took them off and gave them to her, except for one small ring that was on the knuckle of my little finger. It couldn't have been worth much and I asked to keep it. Nine, the governess replied, Ihr sollt nicht behalten. Abel Katerina said, It is us forbidden to allow you to keep even the smallest of things. I had to swear on my soul and honor that I would search diligently and leave the least little thing. However, all is not lost. It will be sealed and kept in safe custody as her lordship the queen has commanded. Very well, in the name of God, I answered. She collected all of my clothing. In my petticoat, I had hidden two coins in the wide gold lacing and in my silk undergarments, a little diamond piece. In the foot of my stockings and in my shoes, I had hidden small precious stones. While removing my shift, I asked to keep it. No, she swore on her soul that she dared not. They stripped me completely, and the governess nodded to Abel Katerina, which she did not immediately understand. The governess then said, Wisst ihr wohl, was euch befallen ist? At that, Abel Katerina placed her hand on a delicate place and said to the governess, Nein, by Gott, da ist nichts. I said, you are acting very unchristian and improperly towards me. Abel Katerina answered, We are only servants. We must do as we are told. We have to look after letters and nothing else. Everything will be kept safe and will be returned to you. After they had desecrated my person and dressed me in the clothes they had brought with them, the governess's boy and Abel Katerina searched everywhere and found all the things I had hidden. God blinded them, however, and they did not find my diamond earrings and a few coins that I had sewn into a cloth lining. I had also managed to keep an expensive diamond hidden. I had bitten it out of its gold casing and had thrown the gold upon the beach, the stone I had kept in my mouth. The governess was very strict and the search could not be thorough enough to her satisfaction. She laughed a couple of times at me. Neither did she like that I was sitting she asked if I could not stand, if I had injured myself. I answered, I have been injured enough, but I guess I could stand up if necessary. 
It was no wonder that the governess could get any job done so well. She had followed her sainted husband, Colonel Schaffhausen, in the war. When they were finished with their industrious search, they took all of my own clothing as well as a bonnet with them and left me alone.